All right, uh, project at hand this year is to finish building the stone wall up the driveway. We've got some material sorted and separated from last year. We've got a lot of stone and rock mixed in with dirt under the tarp to keep it dry, which makes it easier to separate using the homemade rock screener here. I can go over that. Uh, separate time. Basically two by sixes and a piece of wire fence. I use my tractor to dump it over the top and separate it. This side of the driveway will be second. So the rock wall just kind of ends here. This was your number one. What we'll call the left hand side. wall looks pretty good. Wraps down and around and ties into the existing ledge. And then this is the one I did last year. Some nice flowers going this year. But yeah, here's pretty much what we've got started. So we did the hard spot. The road first. Wraps up and around. Then it comes part way up the driveway here. And then just kind of ends. So, we've got to dig this back. Expose any existing ledge here. Break some more rock out of the ground right here because it is protruding up into the driveway and we're gonna end somewhere in here maybe sweep a turn but we can see the line that we're gonna form which gotta get dug back three four feet so I can build the wall back fill it with stone and then uh, yeah work our way up but this one's gonna get shorter and shorter so it should get faster and faster I'll start down there probably do the whole base of the wall and then do the top or do the whole base then the top half make life easy get a nice straight line going and then once I'm done with that and I see how much stone I've got left I'm gonna come over to this side here's my pile of flat rocks these make good tops I'll separate those as I go and this side is gonna continue somewhere past the planter and then cut back up towards the uh, the tree here. So that is stone dependent. So I've got material there to sort and clean, material there, and uh, we'll go from there. So all the stone wall building basically started here is I wanted a fire pit but made a fireplace. Did the fireplace first, took about a year, did the surrounding wall and patio uh, in year two. But what I've basically got is a 12 foot diameter patio and a three by three foot firebox. Uh, fireplace, the whole thing up to the top of the chimney is roughly 10, 12 feet high. I don't remember exactly. Got uh, sauna tubes in four places. Goes down a uh, little frost liner till I hit ledge. So I can put a pergola on top. And then the other thing I did is the wall on the inside all the way around sits at 24 inches so if I ever have a lot of people uh, they can sit on the wall because it is seat height or it stacks fire firewood pretty good uh, and then the ground is all permeable pavers which works out good I did that here and there and under this walk uh, and that basically allows a lot of this water to drain it was very wet over here so uh, water comes off this hill and drains down into here. There's a perimeter drain all the way through, and there's a drain under my feet here in the center of the patio. So this all just kind of picks up all the groundwater, and it runs it down here. Kind of just gets it away from all the, the stonework, so I don't ever have to worry about anything moving. So I think I put close to eight or ten yards, a uh, three-quarter inch uh, trap rock in here, just so it drains really, really well. Um, 
that patio has been there for, I want to say, three years now and no movement whatsoever. I haven't seen anything move in the frost. The water just zips right through. So yep, stonework starts here. And then I had so much left over, uh, I did the walls down there. So I got some digging done this weekend, and what I suspected is the case, and that is that for where the wall is going to sit, I've got a lot of ledge, which is going to serve as the base and the foundation of the wall. So I don't have to worry too much about what's underneath it or it moving. I just need lots of drainage because it is pitched this way. But we can see where the wall ends here. I'm going to kind of follow this line here, right along the edge there and it is all ledge. And I had broken a lot of this back with a hammer drill and split a straight line so it doesn't stick into the driveway. But uh, the lowest spot is here in the middle and I am gonna put this giant rock there, which will hopefully serve as a pretty good piece to put in there. But yeah, I've got a lot of this, just broken ledge. It is gonna become the base of the wall integrated into the wall, so. That is going to be pretty easy to work with, and uh, yeah, excellent sign. I'll probably pressure wash it, get it really clean, that way all the motor sticks. So the other project I've got going is basically taking the material that I'm excavating from down there and using it to extend the driveway some. So I already had this retaining pool going, some dry stack stone wall, and I've got drainage from a French drain from around by the fireplace up there. That was a project from a couple years ago before the stone walls. I had some material left over. And then this is just kind of nice, simple dry stack. And I'm just going to extend this back some. So got a good deal two, three feet deeper and uh, barely getting started. So that's a good sign. Gonna be a nice little free project, just kind of rearranging material in the yard. little update I have uh, finished clearing and separating all of my stone from the, the dirt basically it was leftover tailings from a construction project just up the road they didn't want to uh, try and truck it anywhere else and that worked out great for me so here's what I've got all of this to work with 
which is pretty good. <clears throat> and then back here, where the wall is going to go, is uh, pretty rocky and ledgy to be work to begin with. So that gives me a nice solid base. So all the way down, we can see this ledge material. So I'm basically just going to put a lot of drainage up behind it. And that's going to work perfect. Up here at the end, I still got to try and determine what I want to do. I think I'm going to sweep around the tree. So I'll have to finish digging that out after. But I think I can get started, to say the least. And start working on this pile. So I just finished a little minor upgrade to the uh, fireplace area here. I've got four of those black uprights there, some green cable strung between them, and then uh, I bought some Govi lights so I can do the uh, color changing just for different times of the year. Should be nice to just press a button and make it orange for Halloween or red and green for Christmas, that kind of thing. The uh, the uprights were some free material I had. I just had to drill the hole down there on the bottom, make them a little, a little bigger to accept the, the bolts I had in for the sauna tubes. And then uh, cut them to length, cleaned them up, painted them black. So pretty easy, low cost project. I also like what I was able to do with the firewood. I can now stack it on either side of the fireplace. It's kind of fun. I like the symmetrical look of it. I gotta come up with some uh, Something better than plastic, something that looks nicer to cover the wood, but it's coming along pretty good. Ideally, there'll be a wood pergola up here, something in place of the umbrella. I'm debating uh, something with a roof or just pergola, you know, those crosses, kind of make a little bit more shade. Probably the pergola. In any case, it worked out pretty good. 
was able to run the cords over here. Not the greatest. Plastic bag for the uh, power connector. I've got a weatherproof box coming, so I can keep that in there. And then potentially, we're gonna do some ground lighting. So that would be pretty good. Spice it up a little more. All right, I'm about uh, halfway done this side, I think. I've got the whole bottom put in, which makes life a little easier. That's what I usually like to do, is just get the bottom sorted all the way down, and then I can uh, work on the top. So that's what I've done here to get started. Uh, and then down the other end, what I did just a little bit ago when I caught in the time lapse is uh, use my water level to find a point over here. And this little reference mark so I can be level with the other side. So, level with that side, put uh, right next to the stairs. And then I will string the line from this point. Right down the other end, and put in the top. So I got some fill in the back too. Still working on that. Probably gonna need some more three-quarter stone. Some good drainage material. I could put some filter fabric in between the sand here and that material down there. But I've got uh, about three weep holes built in. So the water can come out, got them about every six feet. Some of them are um, pretty wide, just to make sure all the water that accumulates on that ledge that you really can't drain anywhere can come out. But pretty happy so far, nice and straight. Just have to get some of those big boulders incorporated. Makes progress a little quicker when you put the big stuff in.
I'm not quite around the corner, but I wanted to cover a couple things that I've got started here. So that little blue mark right there, that's actually an electrical box i got to get a cover for. Uh, and then i got two pieces of Liquitite running underground uh, that are actually going to tie in over here at some point for when I do that section of the wall. And I'll have a post up above ground for some uh, Christmas decorations or lights or whatever else I want. But that runs through the wall, and then the liquidite runs behind the wall here. And then I got extra because it'll be easy to cut back. But the point of the extra is gets me pretty much all the way down to the end of uh, what I've got exposed. It's easier to bury the wire now than wait and do it later. But what I'll probably do is put a post, same distance down the driveway is the post light, something with a sign, something with a light, maybe something with a flag, I haven't decided yet, but uh, I will probably put a concrete base back here uh, with a sleeve for a 4x4 four four post and decide later. It'll be the easiest thing to do, but you can see a lot of the ledge back there, kind of how that just got built right into the wall, incorporated into the wall, makes a nice solid base. I don't have to worry about anything. And then this corner is starting to come together. So I'm going to end back here. I have a good size parking area slash turning area for when I have people over. Good to have all this out of the driveway. You can see that nice sweep getting started. And then uh, that nice straight wall. And pretty flat too. So. Very happy with it. It's coming along. Some more work to do today. And I'm going to get all of this out of the driveway for the winter and then uh, pick this side back up next year.